Hi, Terry. Hi there, how are you doing? I'm good. Edicon is eating all my time. How are things with you? How is yeah, the new place? Yeah. Give it a couple of minutes to see if Tara's going to join us. Victor Lu was here, but he disappeared. Uh, looks like it might just be us today. Yep. <laughs> oh, I think your the topics you added. I guess the supply chain maturity thing is ongoing still. Yeah, I so. Yeah, I'm not sure where we've got to on uh, on that. I know that there was a, a PR in progress. Uh, I haven't seen that as yet. Yeah, I think um, Brett and Dave Bandory had comments there. Yeah. So it looks like he's passed all the checks. Yeah, I guess we need to uh, reach out to Tara and uh, get an update on uh, on where she believes that is now. Just trying to the preview. Yeah, preview is there. Uh, yes. Hey, good morning. Hey there. Hey, Tara. Uh, sorry, I was getting my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I still have that merge, that document to merge. I just realized it's been very busy. How are you two? Yeah, good. We were we were just uh uh, wondering what the status was with uh, with that one. Uh, yeah, I got the uh, uh, shoot mainframes right. Sorry, um, 
I had the one final uh, re um, request for a uh, tweak, which I needed to do, and then I got sidetracked for poorly planning. My bad. So just need to land that one tweak, and then we can merge it, and then we can get the PDF created. So I can cool. get that started. Apologies for the delay. So just a question, Kara. I am looking at the uh, preview. Where is it linked on this? I thought it would go on the resources. Uh, hang on, I gotta. Do, 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 do. Uh, da, da, da. Or community. Okay, let me find my stuff. Term CD projects. Um, where did I put this? Maybe it's not linked on these pages. I don't know. Uh, where am I? Get, oh, okay. The GitHub. I think it was in my fork. Oh. And I remember this is coming back to me. I uh, remember thinking, that's funny, it didn't automatically publish. I thought that did it through an action. Okay. Okay, I, I found it on website now. I guess we need a link here on the community page because that's under that path. Yeah. Great, yes. Oh, that was the other thing I needed to do. Okay. Yeah. It was, let's see, assets and content me and community. Nope. Okay, now I can't find it in my GitHub projects. <laughs> All right, well, I will get those two things in so that they can be reviewed. Um, uh, and the preview. Yeah, so. Content again. Maybe. Okay. Uh, yeah. It moves supply chain security metrics to supply chain maturity. Maturity. Okay. And then it was the sidebar.
Oh God, Terry, do you remember where the side nav is actually defined? Uh, it's, you just have to tweak what's in the headers usually. So uh, if you look at the, the top level index, Oh, all right. Okay. And the, and the headers in your um, new pages, if you need to play around with the, the priority of things, you can change the weighting. Let's see, so that's how weight 10 description. Try to match. All right. Maybe it's just that it's not. Is the weighting from zero? Uh, what's what's higher, lower, or? Uh, as the numbers get bigger, you go further down the page. Okay. All right. More community. That's a that's a thirty. Oh wait, hang on. The numbers are arbitrary. It's, uh, I usually leave some gap in case you want to. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to be. I wanted, I wanted to keep the contribution guidelines on top. Yeah. So, okay. Um, uh, If bad. Yes. Origins that metrics. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Uh, I got, I apparently haven't done a Git thing since they switched their host keys. Ugh. Did you guys get caught up in all that mess? Yeah. All right. Hang on a second.
Okay, just push to the branch. Let's see, sec metrics. Content, community, maturity. Okay. PR could pick it up yet? No. Or was that it? How do I get GitHub to recognize I push to the branch? Let it happen automatically. Uh, should be automatic. It should be automatic, right? There it is. Come on now. It sometimes it takes a couple of minutes for it to uh, notice. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, the PR has my delta. It just hasn't rerun the checks here. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. Rerun all checks. Now I need to get Netlify to do its thing. Uh, come on now. It's not the most sprightly of CICD processes. Let me check GitHub status for you. Maybe it's broken. <laughs> well, everything operating normally, it says. Not an unreasonable check lately. We've had a couple of yes, exactly. excitements. Yeah, no, it, it, it can often take five minutes to get around to uh, noticing that it needs to uh, update the deployment. Okay. Yeah, while we wait for this, looking at these pages made me remember like there was someone, one of our ambassadors actually, who was interested in contributing translation. I think Tara, I opened an issue on GitHub and you responded, we haven't done that or we haven't decided oh. how to do that. So I had, oh, yeah, the other thing on my list I haven't gotten back to. So I attempted to use Git Localize, which is machine uh, translation. Uh, and it's it's supposed to just work. I mean, you can pay extra to have a human involved, but for our purposes, it, that seemed like, you know, an easy way. And for a, a nonprofit, it's free. Um, but it it never came back. And I didn't have a chance to follow up on that. So let me, while I'm looking, 
Let's see, issues. Now, another reason why I am asking this because we will we announced the 2023 ambassadors today or yesterday, maybe today, and we'll have a kickoff meeting end of April, and we can simply have this as contributions wanted, and we can just ask them. You can use okay. it localize to get the basic translation done, and then go and fix whatever you notice. Yeah, it's, um, I think that's a good idea. Um, localize. All right, let me go back to see if I can also figure out if it, yeah, here we go. Oh, shit. Yeah, so the, the idea was, I I first hooked it up to my fork. Uh, and they just never did anything with it. So let me reset it up to just have them point at the main site. Um, CD Foundation. A bit. Uh, target path. That should be content lang. Content. Yes, there we go. Content. Next, source language English. Uh, all right, uh, we should do what? Spanish. Let's see how many can I do? Spanish, German, French. French. Uh, should we try doing the APAC languages? I don't know how good this thing is for. We could try. Oh God, uh, let's see, Chinese, there's four versions. Let's pick one. <laughs> um, any other hot ticket ones? You said German, yeah? German, yeah. Spanish, French. Right, right. Spanish, Spanish, German, French, Chinese. I think we can start with those four. Let's start with that. All right, submit. Let's see if this works any better. So where are you doing this? Will, will we see it on GitHub or like? It, it should show up here. Let me just show you what I'm looking at. It should show up as a pull request into the repo. Oh. 
um, when I did this before it, um, this is what I ended up with. It just, it never, it never completed. So I have now set up a new one that's directly on CD Foundation and we'll see if it works. Is it would be just, great if we could, oh, sorry, Terry, go ahead. A, just a generic tool for translation, is that? Yeah, it's, it's a, I, f I found these folks when we were at, uh, when I was still at Google, uh, and they basically use a natural language model mumble mumble thing to provide like a, you know, fairly decent 80% translation solution that's fairly straightforward. And the idea is that for open source stuff, you can just use it as is, and then they, you can pay for the service for enterprise where they give you, you know, uh, a baseline to start with, and then you can use human beings to refine the content. But it's cheaper than doing full, you know, 100% human translation that most companies are used to using and are really expensive. I'm not sure how it's going to deal with a, a site, site that isn't static content. Um, well, we they, they're supposed to work with code, like Markdown. Um, but um, Doxy Stroke Hugo is doing some fairly hairy things under the hood to uh, to do localization. Oh, like for so side nav and well we can know, see so what this, happens. This this there's two processes that you have to go through. Um, you can uh, you can do manual translation on the bulk of your content by just creating another uh, top level folder with a different uh, internationalization code against it. Um, and then it will display that instead of the default English one. But then it also has uh, dynamic uh, localization in some cases. Now, I'm not sure if any of that is enabled on, on this site, uh, but it was on, uh, on the CD event site. And there, there's actually a, a library of uh, text and expressions uh, which are already designed for localization. So then you have to provide alternate library versions and it swaps those phrases out on the fly. Wait, the CD events? No, they're not, they're not under, are they, they're under CDF, right? No, but they're on their own um, instance. Of... I'm sorry. But they've got their their own uh, instance of Doxy running, so they're hosting. Oh, separately. I was... Oh, okay. I mean, I'm I'm a you know I'm a platform engineer. Plagiarism is the most sincere form of flattery. So if there's something we can just you know uplift that that we like that works that's fine with me uh, well it's more a case of uh, that's that's the mechanism that's embedded within that framework and so if we want to do internationalization there's a there's a fair amount of work that we'll probably have to do to get it going oh i see what you're saying okay gotcha I think with ours, it's probably a little bit easier, um, but it will mean having to basically rewrite the whole site in each language um, and then provide alternate trees. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is more old school. The, the way it, in theory, it would create under the content E and it would add the ESFR, Sarah. Yeah. But Maybe you're right. Maybe this is um, maybe this won't work because of the markdown and
Infati is, um, I know that this um, CNCF does some crazy amount of things for the Kubernetes project, for example. Um, just, you know, wondering what other knowledgeable mm. resources we might be able to borrow. Yeah, I can check with CNCF. I'm just browsing through Git Localize uh, web page, and what I see there, it has like this. I just I can share my screen where I am looking. So, like, it looks like it works with Markdown, Markdown, and continuous translation of updates. It says like. Yeah, I mean, it, it worked so for. It, it should work. It should work. Yeah. But I see that it's already. And I found an uh, git a git localize up there as well. I don't know if we should need we, if we need to install the app. Uh, well, I did that. I thought did I not do that? Oops, hang on. Maybe that's the problem. An <laughs> incomplete installation. Oh, where can I see the apps? GitHub apps. Thanks. Oh, it's there. I can see Git localize app as installed under CD foundation. Yeah. So we need to configure it some way. I mean, the only, th uh, the only thing I did was I installed it on the org, but I only enabled the best practices site to just keep the blast radius small. We could add we could add all of them. Um, it is there. It yeah, is. that's that was all I knew to do. That this worked for me before. Huh. Oh, you installed nine minutes ago. Yeah. It actually installed nine minutes ago, so it should maybe it takes time. Uh, yeah, maybe. But it, it might not like the the doxy flavor of Markdown because mm -hmm. they're, they're they're not pure Markdown documents. They've got other annotations in them. Yeah, like the headers. Yeah. Um, localized error codes. Oh, yeah, sorry for derailing the conversation, but since we have the ambassadors, they are all excited. I was like, maybe this could be something we can pass them. Yeah, yeah. We localize, sense a pull request. We can just bring them to review the pull requests, you know, and edit them or whatever. Yeah, I mean, that would be the, that's, that's, that's the model that's supposed to work, right? The, uh, we were doing this for some other open source repositories where it's like we can feed in and have something there and then people could go like, oh, I speak that language. No, that's a terrible translation. Let me fix it, right? Yeah. But which is much, much easier to get engagement on than starting from scratch. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And the other, other problem we've got is how do we do the governance over these translations? Well, I like the idea of having the ambassadors participating in that. If, if they could be like ambassador sponsors for for the languages, that seems like a a pretty cool idea. And I think for the languages you pick, Tara. I think we have more than one person, so they can pair up and they can you know. Confirm yeah, we could this. just. Yeah. We could make a little a little. Uh, if if people were okay with it, we could make a, even make a little contact list, you know, and uh, and get them access to the repo. And also, the other thing we are planning is to introduce some kind of badging program with different levels. So if like someone trans has a new translation, that could give them silver badge or something. So some kind of recognition part of this. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Encourage no, people. It. Right. I'm, ooh, I wonder if you should ask chat GPT, what does it mean when <laughs> Git Localize gives random error codes with no explanation? <laughs> I 
Have you guys played with it much? I'm sure it will generate some sort of spurious conspiracy theory. Oh, naturally. Naturally. Uh... Yeah, they can be asked to adopt a translation. Yes, but yeah, see, tomorrow I will check again, see if we get some sign of it localized being alive. I think that should be an interesting challenge given that we haven't yet managed to get all the English speakers to agree the meanings of the words in the English version. <laughs> Et tu, pute. <laughs> uh, well, I'm looking at I'm looking at another just random project that I found, and I and they've got man, they went all in. They've got like 20 languages listed, and only three of them seem to be working. Um, interestingly, it's French, Polish, and Russian. German is only 61%. Spanish is, oh, is 91%. But they all have the same incomplete error code, which is different than the error code that we have. So, all right. I'm going to, maybe I can ping my some folks at Google to see if they're still using Git Localize or if there's. So I am looking at their blog post. The last one was from 2020. Their last tweet was November 2022. The last time one of their repos update was November 2022. I don't know how a live Git Localize is. Yeah, another very good point. Oh, the Help Center, last edit, November 30th, 2022. I think they're, I mean, it's a, they're a pretty small gig. Maybe it's on life support. <laughs> well, I can also hit my copious amounts of free time, uh, look around to see if there's other similar things. I doubt it. It's not a huge space. I don't know, Terry, maybe maybe the right thing to do is to figure out how we could emulate the CD events folks. I just, I quail at the amount of work that might be. Yeah, uh, I mean, one thing that you might try is uh, just creating a test repo with only the content folder in it and point it at uh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a ton of other stuff in that repository, and if it's well, I, I only it, pointed them at the content folder in the right. in, when I configured okay. it. Right. Yeah, it's it's only looking at content en. Right. Yeah. Um. But I'm wondering if I created a test repo that wasn't Markdown, that was just text, just to see if that made a difference. But regardless, I added already, I added one slide for Ambassador Kickoff meeting, had launched and put translate best practice without details. If someone steps up, then I can bring them to this meeting saying, here is where this group is doing its work. And here is yeah, how no, that start would, translating. That would be great. And let me add that to the, um, let me add the link to this in the ticket.
Oh, I can see supply chain security metrics on the preview now, but why it didn't, it did, you see, it's there now. Oh, and it has the wrong, it has the wrong text. What did I? It should be maturity, not security. Ah, oh, did I screw up? All right, I screwed up, didn't I? Hang on. But why this doesn't tell us like when this run, <laughs> or when, when was this check run last time? Oh, I screwed up, crap, 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 crap. Or did I? No, I pulled that. No, it's I see supply chain maturity metrics here. Oh, you okay? Good. Yeah, I was just like looking because it's it says security in the title, but that was um, I'm looking for David's original. Uh, oh, it is okay. You yes, this needs to be updated. This it should be maturity, not security. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, this one. Okay. Well, if we go here. Okay, the file, okay, header, heading is also security. I know, is it taking it from yep. here? Okay. Maturity. If Git commit, miss the spot. I don't know if you saw um, excellent post from uh, Kelly Shortridge on uh, 69 ways to mess up your deployment. No, you got a link? Uh, yeah, put it in the chat. Oh, nice. <laughs> Copy link. Okay. Four more employees can fantastic. still deploy. Oh, I don't know if any former Twitter employee can still mess things up with Twitter like this. Eight point. Okay, I push the fix to the to the heading. So and now it'll take another three hours before it gets noticed <laughs> by Netlify. <laughs> no, it is there. You see, it's fixed. The preview is updated now. Maturity matrix. Oh, it's yeah. We might have become blind okay. to oh shoot. I, I gotta go. Yeah. Um okay. Um so I will uh sorry, I took my took my headphones off. Took my headphones off and then started speaking. Um I have to go. Uh I will um if if the net the fly looks good, should we just go ahead and push the merge? Is there anything else we need to add to this?
if everyone's happy with the content, then. Uh, All right. Merge pull request. That's changed. Okay. And the last item on the agenda was this open mainframe uh, discussion. I think just to give you an update to you, Tara, as well before you leave. Uh, John Mertich actually created a Google Doc as well because we don't know who will be contributing. And the document is, uh, I don't have access with my this account, but the other account should have access. So I asked them to give some info about like challenges, needs, use case, and so on. So oh, okay. they might come as pull request or they might just start adding content here, but I will keep an eye on this and ping you if I see any movement with this. You wanna, this. You wanna add me on the share list and that, that way they can... Um... Um... Oh, you need my, okay. uh, here. I'll drop it in the chat. Yeah, I have it on my person. There you go. Yeah. So, Terry, which one, the first one or the second one? I should uh... use the first one. Is that right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I use the first one for the moment, but that's linked with all the rest of my um, CDF stuff. Okay. So... Okay. Oh, you should have the link in your mailbox. Awesome. Yeah, that, I, will, that... I will push them. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, lovely to see you, gents. Yeah. Here's good to see both of you. And but I'll, uh... We had good conversation and we had yeah. some progress today. <laughs> Thank you. Working sessions. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye, Terry.